dudes and doodlers. Welcome to Art Club at Yay Time. My name is Dave Roman, and I'm a cartoonist who has worked on several graphic novels, including Astronaut Academy and Teen Boat Race for Boatlantis. <laughs> and today, have I got a game for you. It's called Matchmaker, and it involves creating two completely different cartoon characters and seeing what happens when they meet up for the very first time. Are you ready to play? Well, then it's yay time. Let's go. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker. So for this game, you're going to want two pieces of paper and something to draw with. In my case, I like to use a pencil, but you could also use a crayon or marker. And you're going to want to dig up some game dice from a board game of some sort. Ideally two dice, but if you only have one, that's fine. You can just roll that dice twice. You'll want to fold both your pieces of paper in half and create a header at the top of the first piece. Uh, you're going to want two different topics. And for this game, I chose animal for the first one and job for the second. And each one is going to have a column uh, with six slots. So you're going to write one, two, three, four, five, six on both sides of each column. And then we're going to start filling this out. Uh, really, you just want to think of the first things that come to your head. Don't overthink it. Uh, so for animals, the first one I thought of was a dog. And then that immediately made me think of the opposite of a dog being a cat. Uh, and then I thought of a penguin because I love penguins and I like turtles. Maybe get a little crazy, put a dragon in there. And then maybe a fox for the sixth item. So now we're going to think of some professions to fill in for the job side column. And the first one I thought of was astronaut, because who doesn't want to be an astronaut? And then something less exciting, maybe a lawyer. Uh, my mom always wanted me to be a doctor, but I ended up being a cartoonist. If drawing comics doesn't work out, maybe I'd be a baker uh, or a podiatrist, which is a foot doctor. And these were just the first things that popped into my head, but of course, you might think of completely different animals or professions that would be great. So go ahead and roll those dice. All right, I got a five and a two. So checking the numbers on our list, number five is a dragon, and number two is a lawyer. So on the second piece of paper, I'm going to start drawing on the left-hand side. That'll be the space for the first drawing, and I'll start drawing my dragon. I'm not sure if this will be a scary dragon or, yeah. Knowing me, I'll probably end up drawing a cute dragon. Maybe it's just a little baby dragon. Or a very squat dragon. It might end up looking more like a dinosaur. Uh, because I kind of forgot how dragons look, actually. <laughs> um, but I'll give him a nice little scaly belly. Some dots for eyes. Tiny nostrils. I'll give him some sharp teeth. Maybe not too sharp, but sharp enough to make the most of a well-earned celebratory steak dinner. Add some pointy horns. Maybe some, uh, I want to say, gills. I'm not really sure what these are called. If you guys know, give me a shout out. Let me know. Give this dragon some wings so he can be a wingling dragon. Oh, oh that's pretty good. Draw him with an arm that exudes confidence. Now it's time to accessorize. What can't lawyers leave home without? Their briefcase. I'm not sure what area of law this dragon practices, but you can bet he's the best lawyer you can afford. Maybe just fix this part up a little bit. That's the benefit of drawing with a pencil, is that you could always correct some of your mistakes or just fix lines you're not happy with. Overlapping lines and things that intersect. Now for side two, we roll those dice again, and this time we got a two and a three. So we check those numbers up against our menu list, and it looks like number two is a cat, and number three is a doctor. Brilliant. On the right side of our drawing page, to start drawing a cat, who a cat who is also a doctor. So I'll start off drawing him like I would probably any old cat, a roundish oval shape for his head little triangles for his ears. 
dots for eyes, a button nose, upside down V for a kitty mouth, another oval shape for the body, sharp collar for their doctor style lab coat, give them a uh, stethoscope, think about what doctors generally have on them, the shiny headband disc things that we see in old timey cartoons. Uh, draw his other arm and hand over here. A popsicle stick. That's a medical professional term, right? Um, <laughs> you know, the thing for your tongue. A tongue depressor. Uh, maybe a clipboard with some medical results. Gonna draw his his legs. Um, he's a little bit of a. He's, you know, we'll have this cat standing up on his feet. He's a very educated, upright citizen, so this cat stands on two legs. Give him his little cat tail. There you go, a doctor you can trust. Now the goal is to find some ways to make these two separate characters interacting, create a bit of a gag cartoon scene between the two of them. Uh, and we can maybe think about, you know, what their relationship is. Uh, how do they know each other? Why are they sharing a space? Like, why, well, you know, why are these two characters in a room together? And we, could, and we could start drawing a background, but I think in this case, I'm gonna start with some dialogue. Uh, I've already started thinking of some, some things for these characters to be saying. I'm gonna start with the dragon, figure out what, uh, what's going on in his head. I wanna create a bit of a setup, explain why the dragon is here in this room. Why is, the, why is this dragon lawyer here? Finish up the text here and then draw the balloon. And the dragon says, I'm here to represent you in that malpractice case. <laughs> malpractice is when a doctor messes up something or gets accused of messing something up and uh, has to defend themselves. So they need a good lawyer. And this cat has hired the best lawyer in town, dragon lawyer. So I want to think about what the cat might be saying in response to the dragon's uh, statement and uh i think this cat is uh putting his profession first this doctor takes his job very seriously he's a doctor before he's a cat so he's gotta he's gonna want to check this dragon make sure he's tip-top shape pinnacle of health so dr cat says okay but first open wide and say ah maybe he wants to check for dragon breath or tonsillitis and now I will go back and add a little bit of background detail to the scene. So I'm going to assume that this is the doctor's office. So what can we add to let you know that this is a doctor's office? Maybe a little counter um, with some drawers filled with important medical supplies. And draw one of those scales that you step on. I guess the most important part of any doctor's office is their credentials. You want to know that you're in good hands. So this doctor has hung up a framed picture of his uh, certificate from going to medical school. He went to uh, Cat University. Maybe a little jar with some pretzels. When I was a kid, uh, my doctor always would give me a pretzel after an examination. And there you have it. That's how you play matchmaker. There's also a two-player option of this game where... You can have one person draw the left side image and the second player draw the right side image. Just have each player roll the dice and whoever gets the higher number goes first. To extend the game, just keep rolling the dice to find new animal and job combinations. Or you could create your own totally different lists of things to match up. Maybe one involving food, or planets, or different personality types. Like, what would happen if a talking banana met the planet Saturn? The possibilities are endless. If you like this video, click the like and subscribe buttons for more great content, including drawing tutorials, more drawing games, and reader's theater. Stay creative and have an awesome future.